Hi everyone, I'm Karisma from Team Grad One, and right now you are tuned into our second session of the day, which is a webinar session with Dell. So Dell will be talking on how Dell supports young talents with their career growth. Also, to those tuned in right now, if you have any questions you would like to ask the speakers, do leave your questions in the chat box. You can also vote for Dell as Malaysian most preferred employer for the Gerdon brand. Award. All right, right now I'll pass the floor to Ashwin from Dell. Ashwin, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you so much, Charisma. Hello and good morning, everyone. Hope everyone's doing well and welcome to our 2022 virtual career fair brought to you by Graduate and Aspire. Also, I'd like to thank you all so, so much uh, in investing your time with us on this lovely, lovely Saturday. I, it is lovely. And uh, my name is Ashwin, and I will be serving as your moderator for our discussion on the topic, how Dell supports young talent with their career growth. Uh, again, uh, as what Charisma pointed out, should you have any questions, please do drop your queries or type in your questions in the chat box. Now, let me quickly introduce you to our lovely panelists for our webinar session today. We have Ben, our Talent Acquisition Director in APJ region, Alman, SRE or Site Reliability Engineering Director, Rahiman, or referred to as Ray, pretty stylish at that, a software engineer in Dell Technologies, and finally, Farah, or sassy it a bit, Farah, uh, a software engineer as well in, in Dell Technologies. Perhaps I'll pass it over to our panelists to briefly introduce themselves, and uh, we can start with Ben. Over to you, Ben. Thanks, Ashwin. And a very good morning, especially to our amazing young Malaysian talents today. Yeah, it's a Saturday morning, I, and I appreciate the fact that people got in for this call, which is uh, all about helping us help you grow your career with us. So my name is Bandana, um, but everyone calls me Ben for short. A quick intro, I'm a proud product of the Malaysian education system and a proud alumni of the International Islamic University PJ campus. So you can backtrack and see how long ago it was. Um, I graduated with a degree in accounting. I did about eight plus years in the audit and banking line before I found my new work home in human resources HR. Um, I have been with Dell about uh, almost going to be 15 years and uh, my team currently at Dell does the great job of finding great talent, amazing talent like you guys for all the businesses we have for, in several countries in APJ. I am sure that we'll get to know each other a lot more better in the next hour or so. I look forward to the engagement. Thanks. Thanks, Ben. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ben. Perhaps, Elman, over to you. Hello, all. My name is Elman Yo. So I've been with Dell for uh, the past 16 years and it's my first job and I've been with Dell ever since, right? So I led the team's SRE, which is a site reliability engineer. And we have an amazing team member from US, from Brazil, India, Malaysia, Indonesia. So it's a, it's a cool team, right? So what we do is we hire a lot of engineers, tries to transform the way we operate and support Dell.com and how to make it so robust that it can ex continue to expand without adding, keep adding on headcount to support it. And uh, it's an exciting team. And I have been Involving in the university relationship and uh, young fresh graduate hiring for uh, Dell Digital team for the past five years, and hope to see you all soon. And I'll talk to you more. Amazing! Thank you so much, Elman. Um, Ray, over to you, Ray. All right. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Omar Himanbi Abdumanab. But like what Ashu mentioned, you can just call me by my nickname, Ray. I'm born and raised in Kuching, Sarawak, but currently I'm staying and based in Cyberjaya. I'm an alumnus of University of Malaya. I just finished my study last February and joined Dell like a month later uh, in March. Um, I'm the youngest among everyone here because I've only, I'm only been in Dell for five months. Uh, currently, for my first rotation in ITTP, I'm assigned to the TMX Validation and Transition COE. I know it's quite a mouthful of a team name, but basically the team is involved in the testing and validation of Dell products, hardware and software. But for my current role, I'm, uh, it's actually related to full stack development. So yeah, that's a brief introduction about myself. Um, Farah seems already excited, so passing back to Farah. Hi, a very good morning on this Saturday. It's a lovely day. So my name is Farah Karata Inmiti Muhammad. It's a mouthful as well. So you can just call me Farah or can be more sassy. Call me Farah. So I've been in Dell for one year. For next one will be one year. We'll be, I was starting on August 2021 until 2022 now. 
and I was uh, I entered Dell as intern for uh, Dell India. I entered Aina's team, and then I went for I've been converted to FTE on August 2021, which I entered my current team, which is Digital Experience and the Commerce Platform Validation Team. It's a long name, <laughs> so again, this sign as validation team. So I guess that's all from me. Thank you. Thank you so much, Farah. I think it was wise for me to say software engineers because, yes, your titles are quite mouthful. But again, thank you so much. Thank you so much again for the brief, brief introduction. Now, today is going to be an engaging session and a packed one as well. Uh, that I can assure you. We would be having some great insights from our experienced leaders. Elman and Ben have uh, duly introduced themselves and from our talented graduates also, as well, Ray and Farah. With all their insights, we would get to know how Dell supports young talent with their career growth. Before we get started, uh, please do stay tuned at the very end of our discussion as we have some great contests and games and exciting prizes, wink, wink, of course, I'm winking right now, such as Dell laptop and Alienware gaming accessories, just prepared all just for you. Uh, that, uh, we can definitely get into the details after the end of our discussion. No worries on that. With that being said, let us officially kickstart our discussion, uh, perhaps starting with our leaders, Elman and Ben, to understand what is the driving force for both of you to be a part of Dallas's organization for as long as 10 years. Over to you guys. Ben, of course. Ben, you want Thank to you. This? Yeah, sure, sure. No, ben, ben. not a problem. Um, so I, I joined Dell mid-career. So if you remember, my early intro was I spent about eight plus years in the banking audit line, and then I spent a few other years uh, in the recruitment industry. And I had joined Dell. One of the biggest pull factor for me was I had attended a business meeting at Dell, and I was really amazed at the way people worked at Dell. Um, from walking down the corridor, people would smile at you to strangers, to getting into a business meeting and being treated so respectfully. And that was my biggest pull factor for joining Dell. Um, fast forward almost 14 plus years here, I'm still here. And it's the number one reason I'm still here is, again, the amazing people I work with. Um, and I guess that's the number one reason why I've been here. The second thing, of course, amazing people lead to amazing work culture. Um, we lead with trust at Dell. Uh, people are empowered uh, to work empowered to do the to bring, to do the best that they can we believe there is a belief at dell that you come to work doing the with the intent of doing your best and that translates to the fact that you're trusted to do the work that you're given and i guess finally the last bit of it is great people great work culture leads to great work never a dull day at dell so that's been my experience for the last 14 plus years Awesome. Thank you so much. For me, you know, you can see it is like my first job and until now, still my first job, right? So there must be a big reason why I'm still in this company after 16 years. Now, of course, there are many other opportunities in the market, but why I'm still here? I think the main reason beside the one that mentioned by Ben, it's the people, right? So it's the same biggest reason why I'm staying here for so long because no, we just treat everyone like a big family member. So this is like your first the second family but for many people it's like their first family <laughs> so everyone is like working together as a friend as very, very close friends and also and the culture is so so nice right so beside the the nice working culture mentioned by Ben we we're also very big in inclusive and diversity right so we doesn't care we doesn't really look at you uh, differently, even if you're a contractor, even if you just join as an intern, if you, even if you just join as a part-time, everyone just the same inside a company. And also a few main things that I, I love about Dell is in Dell, the opportunity is uh, limitless. You might join Dell as a uh, IT personnel and it doesn't stop you from become a, a finance expert. It doesn't stop you from become a back front end expert, back end expert or so on and so forth. You can have your own career. You plan your own career and everyone in Dell, including your leaders, level management and every peers, it's helping you to achieve your own goal rather than try to mold you into something that keep doing the same thing all over, right? So I hire you as an engineer. Please continue to do engineer forever for me, right? So it's not a case in Dell, right? So everyone own their career and that's many more for you to come and explore, but I can put you a very uh, good example. One of my peer that uh, uh, director levels right now has been moving from uh, finance to IT, IT to finance and back to IT. And it's like so robust, right? So how 
uh, someone with a finance background can work in IT and so on and so forth, right? So this all supported in Dell. And we'll tell you more about how we empower you to plan your own career later on. Back to you, Ashby. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing, uh, Ben and Elman. Uh, let me quickly catch the opportunity right here to direct this line of questioning perhaps to our new hires on their experience. Uh, it could be the working experience, the culture, the people in Dell. Uh, so, Ray and Farah, what is your experience thus far in Dell Technologies? Over to you, Ray. All right. Thanks a lot, Ashwin. Um, first of all, can I just say I'm kind of be honored to be here today to, uh, to share on my experience as an ITDP member. Um, in terms of working experience, I mean, where do I even begin, right? Um, it has been absolutely wonderful for the past five months. Everyone, and I really mean everyone, has been so welcoming since day one. In fact, not even the day one. Uh, even, uh, during, even during when I joined the Hack to Hire program, I remember Elman has been so welcoming to all of us uh, university students. And for the past five months, I realized that, you know, uh, during our onboarding, we learned about um, one of Dell, uh, Dell's culture codes and whatnot. And I can safely say that the whole working experience so far, um, it really leads up to one of its core values and culture codes we need together. And, you know, you can start to understand why Ben and Elman would stay in this company for so long. Like what they mentioned, right, due to the amazing people who are incredibly supportive. Um, I also really appreciate the... One of the highlights I would say of my working experience so far would be uh, how we are given flexible working hours or the freedom to work remotely. Sometimes I find myself preferring to work at night, and there's there you know to show you how much their supports uh, their employees to you know to work uh, remotely. They even provide a one-time incentive to set up your own home office through this program called Connected Workplace, um, which I just received two days ago, coincidentally. Um, in terms of the office, I'm based in the Cyberjaya office, and it's really spacious. It has these cool amenities. I think one thing that attracted me when I first went there was the standing desk. <laughs> Those are really cool. I wish I had one in my uh, in my home right now. Um, I also consider myself to be incredibly fortunate because not long after I joined, which was last March, uh, we we're able to return to site and see how the office looks like after renovation. I've never been to the P9 branch, but um, coincidentally, we'll, we'll be paying a visit there uh, in two weeks for an upcoming ITDP trip. Uh, and last but not least, another highlight of the working experience here is that uh, it's related to the new re rotations program. For information, uh, I'm part of the first batch to go through this program. Uh, what, the what this program is all about is that it allows us new hires to rotate through multiple teams, if I'm not mistaken, at least two. And it gives us the flexibility to, you know, experience how it feels like working in different teams across there, as opposed to, you know, the moment you join Dell, you're stuck in one team and can only uh, go through different teams by going through the hash out process. So yeah, overall, the working experience has been absolutely sublime and I, I really, I, it makes me anticipate what this future has in store for me. Yeah, that's for me. But I'm curious to hear from Farah. She's, you know, one year in Dell. So how about you? How's your working experience? Hi, hi, hi. I've been one year in Dell, yes. <laughs> can, count, can consider me as a baby. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so my working experience in Dell is is a wholesome because I was working for from one uh, from two teams, which is from Dell India and Dell Malaysia. So I started on March 2021. I entered Dell through Dell Hack to Hire, the same batch as Ray. And then I went through Aina's team, which is uh, working on microfront end. It's really amazing where you can like uh, learn new learn new technology and like able to deploy and be the first person who sees all everything that been going on through from business from business relations to working. And then I went through FTE to the XCP team, uh, validation team. I was working on API. And the one thing that I would never forget was that I was able to be one of the participants on War Room. So every last year we do have like on November 2021, we do have like Black Friday. So that was the greatest experience, I guess, I experienced where you can see like the sales going up and down from every region. It's amazing. You cannot see that from uh, from customer's point of view, but you can see from developments and from all the service teams, you know. So I guess that's all from me. Thank you so much, Ray and Farah. And uh, Ray, um, please come over to our opinion side. It's right. We have all the standing desks right here for all your needs. No worries on that. Will do. And Will do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much again, Farah. Um, yes. Uh, now, perhaps I would like to direct this question to Ben as well from a HR's viewpoint. Um, how does Dell help out young graduates charting out their career pathways? Uh, perhaps over to you, Ben. Gosh. I think um, Ray and Farah are great testaments of their, their journey and 
uh, Ray in the last few months and Farah in the last year plus. So I think they've actually told a great story. But just to give you all a quick recap, for new joiners, especially those dire direct from campus, um, I think one of the pluses about joining Dell is that each business unit is focused on bringing in fresh talent into the organization. And each of them usually have a very robust onboarding program. Um, I think um, you'd also almost be assigned, almost immediately be assigned to a buddy and a mentor. So we actually have an onboarding program for, from, for everyone joining us together with the ability to reach out to and connect with people um, quickly and learn about Dell. So I think that's really very, very uh, basic. Everyone does it at Dell. And I think also in some instances, um, you can also see some of the BU, some of the larger businesses investing in some of these graduate programs. So Ray and Farah are out, uh, products of the ITDP, uh, <clears throat> IT Development Program. I know we use a lot of acronyms all over the place, but ITDP is really the IT Development Program. That's um, We also have FDP and ADP, which is Finance and, and or Accounting Development Program. We also have something uh, which is the Sales Academy. So again, for those who are interested in these areas of um, as fresh graduates getting into these fields, we actually have a soft landing space for, for you all. Um, sales is a aggressive environment, but we make sure that there is a, an ability for you to learn about sales before throwing you into the deep end. So we've got lots of programs for fresh graduates, um, but joining in direct as well, you'll be, we believe in handholding people and having that onboarding and budding program just to make sure that you come in, you are successful, we are successful, and we are one big happy family, I guess. Lovely um, put. Lovely put. Thank you so much, Alman. Um, yes, I, perhaps I can now, uh, you know, I can direct also this question to Alman as well. Uh, because I think that perhaps, Alman, you can help us in understanding the programs on top of what Ben has actually succinctly put, uh, put on. Uh, and that are involved, the programs that are involved essentially to cater our new hires and, you know, and understanding their onboarding process as well. Over to you, Alman. Yeah, definitely. It's right. I can share our experience on uh, Dell Digital Perspective, which is IT department, right? So, and uh, a very usual, again, we knew that a lot of the new hire is worried about uh, what's the first company they join, whether they choose the right path, whether they studied right, whether whether everyone feel like, oh, I just pick the first job, again, some experience, and quickly I look for what I truly want to do later on, right? So we take away all those concerns for our new hire. First of all, we take away a myth uh, of the, a thought where people, the fresh graduate always feel like uh, the great job always go to those people who are good in interview, right? They can talk, they can present well, that they can uh, communicate well, you know, all the great jobs being grabbed by those guys that they have better interview chances to get the job and so on and so forth. So what we did in IT is we created a program called Hack to Hire. It's a very robust program where we engage with the multiple universities in the open competitions and we provide the problem statements two weeks before, prior. The teams will study the problem statement and they are given 24 hours to quote the solutions on the sport. And the next day, they would just come to the presentation. And within these 24 hours, for the whole days, the Dell is assigning mentor, multiple mentor. That's like a few mentor attached to a team, but and guiding the team how they build things, how they come to the solution, how they think, what's the top process. And that's like a full days of interview sections by 20, 30 mentor against the teams. And it's very clear card that uh, we are able to support what, who are the top talents from those teams who's really put in the effort, who carry the right attitude, who's carry the right uh, skill set and so on and so forth. And at the end of the day, after, right after presentation, uh, besides choosing the top three teams and all those awards, we offer the top talent by the right way, right? So it doesn't matter how many of them are the, are the, are the, are the you know, in the competition, we offer to every single talent that we feel like fits in into the, the Dell culture and uh, Dell teams, right? So that's one side of it. And right after we hire them into the, into the Dell team, they might not be graduate yet, but we have the offer letter with them on hand, right? So if they want to do intern, they just come and do intern with us. And it doesn't matter if they want to do intern with some other company and gain some experience, which is fine, right? So, but the, the, the moment where they step out from their school door, 
and uh, the other big door has been opened for them right away, right? So they can just step right in into the Dell office and they are already, because they're already a Dell employee. And once they're in the team, we have a very good program called IT Development Program. It's a two years plan program with all kinds of trainings, all kinds of uh, support, all kinds of uh, guided uh, growth path, and also be assigned mentor. We have all those uh, seminar webinars helping this team grow within their first two years of their career. Not only growing uh, themselves to become someone from a student to a, uh, in the work environment, but also help them to build up their confidence and the technical skill set as well. So they are very well equipped to, to uh, compete with the very robust and uh, high-speed uh, transformation in the whole markets, right? And what's best is, uh, like Ray mentioned, the rotational program, right? So what happened is uh, of, very often the young fresh graduate will feel like the, I might not make the right choice to my first role, right? So, and what we did with the first role assignment is you have choice. We want to make sure that we have all of the teams, like 20, 30 different teams, that element what they what the team needed, what the skill set required, and what the team is doing in front of you. And each of the fresh graduate choose what are the top three teams they want to join, right? And then we do the best matching, and then we assign them into the respective team they feel most comfortable with. And then after a year with the team, we rotate them to the second team, and then the final year we can rotate them to the, the third team. Right. So they gain multiple experience from the area that they feel like they can contribute and they, uh, they from their, uh, to the team that they can feel like they can uh, grow further. Right? So this is the second big part. And uh, finally, just a quick snippet for all of you young fresh graduate. Right? So right after two years of ITDP, we have the continuous program called IT Master Program, right? so which is an opportunity for those uh, top talent um, from uh, the top talents from uh, all this IDDP program, 20-30% uh, fully sponsored them into a master program to their choice, right? So it can be any IT relevant topic that they want to do master, it will be fully sponsored from them. I think that's, uh, that's the three stages of support that we provide to the new hire nowadays. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much, Alma. Thank you. Um, I think it's very interesting. And also, Elman, you pointed out that there is, um, you know, you've brilliantly put out that there is a door. There's a door that you pointed out, uh, which signifies the transition uh, of being a graduate to a new hire, which means that they are, you know, they're, they're being put into the workforce. So they're being put into the job market. And uh, Due to this, the landscape just got bigger and the things that they have to learn just got wider. And I'm referring to the fresh graduates because they have been, they have, uh, you know, they have become a student. They, was a, they were a student and now they actually joined the workforce to become, you know, to be part of this, this you know, ever-changing uh, job market and whatnot. So I'd like to direct the next question perhaps to Ray and Farah to help us to understand uh, a bit more on Dallas's onboarding process. And um, how is your transition? from being a graduate, from the door of being a graduate, you opened it a completely different door to become an employee in Dell. Over to you, Ray. Right. Sure, Ashwin. Um, so first of all, before I answer the question, I would just like to you know, echo what Elman mentioned. Um, for your information, I'm a, sort of like the living testament of the Hack to Hire program uh, because I joined it about a year ago, before, right before my final year. And, like, and when I you know, got offered the full-time employment offer, right, uh, I was quite surprised that that was really to reserve me for one year because right? I have to wait until I finish my final year and then I can get to work. So, so yeah, I was quite grateful for that opportunity. But speaking of transition, like I mentioned in the beginning, right, um, I finished my study last February and I have technically less than a month before I first I started my first day. So of course there was a lot of anxiety, like what Emma mentioned, a lot of second thoughts, like am I making the right choice and all that. So so, but overall, right, the whole decision is actually quite smooth sailing and I will tell you why. So um, first of all, some of the interesting changes that I learned throughout, the, throughout, throughout my onboarding is that uh, one of the things that what an interesting change was that I re, uh, when I first joined Dale, uh, I was told that you know when you're addressing each other, you don't use salutations or titles. Like you met, like if you notice, I address Elman, I don't call him sir or Mister like that or anyone else here. So it was a bit of a shock because when you're in university, you I'm pretty sure you all students you will address your lecturers, uh, you know, by their titles like doctor, professor, associate professor, and all that. So, um, 
to me, this is what this one surprisingly took a bit of a while to get used to. But I realized that you know, even though this is considered like a small change, but by calling everyone on a first name basis, right, uh, regardless of age and status, to me, even though it's a simple cultural initiative, but it makes a huge difference in bridging that gap. You know, it makes it seem as though it doesn't matter uh, how old that person is, uh, whether they are their position and whatnot. But at Indel, everyone is equal, and you have the voice to to you know voice out your opinions and whatnot. So, so that's one of the interesting changes I would like to highlight. But again, speaking on transition, right? Technically speaking, the whole IT, DP, the IT development program uh, is aimed at ensuring this seamless transition for us new hires, right? So, I, I probably this is a bold claim, but you know, not that many companies are willing to dedicate an entire two-year program just for this reason, right? So, this is I think one of the reasons that makes Dell unique compared to uh, most of the other companies. So, um, so I'm really glad to have you know Dell, to, that Dell provides this opportunity uh, for us. And if you're talking about the whole onboarding, um, the first month. March was entirely dedicated for us to learn about Dell because, you know, Dell is a really, really huge company. I, I would like to quote uh, one of the ITDP leads uh, in the US. Uh, her name is Jennifer Erickson. She mentions that Dell is like a city, right? If you're bored at where you are now, you can feel free to move to a different neighborhood. So that's, you know, aptly puts just how big this company is. So of course it takes time, you know, to get familiarized with its structure, programs, or even the, the never ending list of acronyms, like what Ben mentioned, that one took me a while to get used to as well. Yeah, so, so, so it's even though as a fresh graduate, you might be tempted to jump straight away to work. You know, of course you're excited, right? But uh, in hindsight, when I think about it, it's, it's, it's a good decision lah, for Dell to, you know, dedicate one month just for a gradual transition on top of the whole two year ITDP program so that you can read adjust well to this entirely new corporate life. Um, there are also a bunch of initiatives that can help you out with this decision. I'll just briefly go through them. Uh, among those initiatives, these include mentor circle. Uh, they are, I currently join two of them, new hire and early circle. In fact, I just had my first session for the new hire mentor circle um, yesterday, actually. Yeah, so what this mentor circle initiative does is that it allows you to get to network with and learn from the experience and sharing of mentors who've been in Dell for years and you can really ask them any question. And, and in terms of, you know, your skills, chances are uh, when you join uh, your first company, they might be, not all of the skills that you learn in university will be directly applicable to your current role. Uh, but no worries, in Dell, they provide you a lot of opportunities and platforms for you to upskill yourself, such as Dell Digital, like uh, Udemy licenses and Digital University. Uh, so to make sure that, you know, your skills are relevant to your current role yeah so for me that's roughly you know my experience from transitioning from uh, from the life as a student to to uh, uh, a software engineer yeah but i would love to hear from Farah as well again she's older than me one year in dell so how's your transition sister <laughs> yeah. You keep you keep calling me older than you and seniors. <laughs> so, so, so. We're actually coming from the from the same Dell hack to hire. So as I've seen uh, Ray been presenting his amazing apps throughout the Dell hack to hire. So what I'd like to emphasize is like what uh, Ray has been saying. So I have so I, once I when I entered Dell right first thing first that I will tell you how how my procedure comes. So I entered Dell as virtual. Del Hector from Virtual Del Hector Hire. And then I've been offered a straight away as internship when I because when I entered that I was searching for internship. So I am so grateful that I get Dell as a as my first company to try to work on that. It's quite kind, of, kind of overwhelming because like what Ray said is a big company, it's a city, it's an MNC company, it's a multinational company. It's so big that sometimes it gets like uh, overthinking that am I worth for this company? And then after sometimes that I learned so we can grow together with them so it's okay for you to be um, it's okay not to be okay, <laughs> okay. and then I like, one okay first thing first when you enter Dell is that when you get a manager after you get a manager you get a team leader the, the one thing that I love that Dell provide is that after you get a manager a team you get a buddy this buddy is like a lifesaver <laughs> they will help you in everything you did from your setting up your laptop, trying to run your system, even explain the code, okay? Even explain the code. Who wouldn't do that, okay? But and then the second thing, Dell is like a, Dell, Dell employees is like a family to me because they will help you in every kind of ways. And Dell itself provides you so many, with so many platforms to learn. I can list out and the things that I really love is I always use Udemy all the time. So I have like Udemy, Learning Studio, Coursera, Udex, and even like 
uh, even with all those things, you still have more platforms to learn. You can just, everything with just from your fingers, and then you can just learn everything. And one thing from there is that you can learn from Confluence itself. They even have like a documentation for every system, how the architecture looks like. They use acronym like OMCS, OMC, ITDP. What is, what is all that? So you can just read from Confluence. Everything is there. They provide you every single thing. Uh, for the next part is a business oriented. I mean like for, from you students, which from you as a student, towards a working, uh, a worker. Okay. So you, when you write your codes, right, as a student, you just like, sometimes you just copy and paste and just refer to the websites or everything. But this time around, I was quite surprised because we do have like, uh, process how, how to write codes. We have pipeline to filter how your codes looks like. And you can, you, you need to even test your code, you know, like write unit tests and everything. It was quite experience to me that actually what you are doing is matters to the real world. The next is ITDP itself. I myself is ITDP council. So we do organize a lot of events every quarter. One quarter is three months. In three months, we do have a lot of some events. Like Race It, we'll be, we'll be uh, visiting uh, Del Penang, all of us uh, ITDPs. And it will be, I guess it will be uh, a quite a uh, tour. And then for next is, okay, this is the best, this is the biggest transition. Okay, when I said about being a student to a worker, is that when you're doing your FYP, right, your final year project, you are the one who develop, you are the one who do all the systems, you are the one who deploy. So you don't care about those things, right? You don't care about how codes look, so like, as long as it runs, okay? But when it comes to, and then like, everything you do on your own, you are the one who does everything. But when it comes to MNC company, Dell, you work as a team. So you need to cooperate with others. So you do like pair programming. We do have pair programming. This pair programming really, really helps me because that you, pair, you will be paired with seniors, senior and junior. So when your senior are doing some work, you don't just observe, you know, you will take notes and try to do everything. These things help me keep, help me keep up with all their works. In just three months, I can, al I can, I can already do their tasks. Trust me, this prior programming is really helped. So I didn't know that it could help me this much, but that was my biggest, biggest transitions. And thank you for the for helping me keep up with my all my work, all my tasks, and being able to be one of the Dell contributors towards Dell.com because that's what I work for. <laughs> I guess that's why it was too long. Thank you. No worries, no worries. Thank you so much, Farah. Um, I'm so glad that the programs that are available right for you, for all the new hires, uh, absolutely great. And when you mentioned for FYP, final year project, I got some memories, mostly unpleasant ones. But anyhow, nonetheless, it is absolutely great to hear the transitions have been seamless. And I think uh, there is a window of opportunity right here for us to get a glimpse at how Dell, being a transformative organization, has evolved after the two-year pandemic. Uh, perhaps, Ben, you can help us to comprehend how the way we work uh, you know, have been reevaluated and what makes it different to fit the current generation post-pandemic. Uh, over to you, Ben. All right. Thanks, Ashwin. And again, I'll, I'll love to share the Dell story, but I think we'll also give the opportunity for Ray and Farah to talk about from the young generation, how do they appreciate this change? But let me just qu quickly quick kickstart this. Um, Pandemic hit. No one knew was going. To, no one knew was not going to be three weeks, three months. It's it's more than two years, right? Uh, the good thing for us at Dell was that we already had a culture of flexibility. Um, we already had tools and systems that allowed us to work um, easily from outside the office. And on top of that, we were also a global organization. We had like evolved to a global organization ten plus years ago, where in many cases even a third of our work workforce probably in Malaysia had managers that were not in Malaysia. So we had all this set up for us. And when we moved into switch off the office and switch on the home work office, uh, we could just lift and shift. So in a sense, it was easier for Dell than for many organizations. Yeah, um, we, were, we already had so much happening for us that allowed us to do this transition quickly. Now, fast forward two years in, uh, Ray mentioned return to site. You can hear all these ex exciting stuff about bringing people back to the office, engaging, uh, wowing people with uh, 
the stand desk. And by the way, Ray, when you come to Ray and Farah, when you come to the office in uh, uh, Penang, you'll get a good idea of how it was before. And how it's being renovated to the future because downstairs uh, we have two floors in uh, the Del Penang office. Downstairs is still a legacy office of how it was before, with all those little workstation and cubicles. And upstairs, when you go up, is what the new world of uh, Del work is going to look like. And so, what is Del's new work style going to be? Um, we are a firm believer that work can be done anywhere at any time. So, where and when really work is independent of that. Uh, but we do believe that great, amazing people and great, amazing work culture happens with collaboration. So what we're doing is we're not calling our office and office location anymore. So even the word return to site, it's a site, it's a location. And we call that location collaboration office. So you don't have a desk. I, I don't have a desk anymore. I, I had like a desk for 10, 11, 12 years of my life at Dell. I don't have a desk anymore. I go into an app, I book a space, I get into the HR neighborhood and I sit and I engage and I collaborate. Um, we've got all kinds. So the idea behind what the new work style at Dell is going to be is simply this, hybrid. You choose what works best for you. Obviously, there are uh, constraints around some uh, site-based and some may be customer-facing, but generally, by and large, you choose the kind of place you want to work in. The timing also, because at the end of the day, we are more deliverable focused. The end result matters. The end result to the client, customer, and the end result to the team that we work with. Um, so that's really, in a nutshell, the um, the collaboration office, that we, the collaboration site that we have in Sadbaja and in Penang, really cool i must say changi <laughs> uh, i walk in and i love the colors i walk in i love the the stand desks the cycles the cycling bicycles with the laptop stand that you, you can actually use at the same time so there's all kinds of fun stuff at the collaboration site but the new way of work is really very much um hybrid work from wherever and whenever yeah, and I think I think Ray and Farah probably have their own stories to tell. They are the new generation, and how this works for them. Yep, thank you so much. And uh, yeah, uh, as what Ben has put, yes, uh, we are the Generation Z. We are the representative of Gen Z and whatnot. And Ray, uh, uh, would you like to add some of the advantage of this working style? And Farah, please free, free, uh, feel free to chip in. Uh, over to you, Ray. All right, thanks a lot, Ashwin. I mean, I. Ben has already like aptly described, you know, how the, the working style uh, is uh, uh, in Dell. But I would like to, you know, to me, the, the, the working culture, right? Uh, like everything that Ben mentioned, it can boil down to two things, flexibility and trust. Like what Ben mentioned uh, in Dell, you can choose to work out. You can choose the working style that's, that's best for you, right? And to me, my interpretation of this is that when you provide options for your employees to choose from, uh, doesn't matter if you want to work entirely at the office, uh, work entirely from home or a mix of both because I have a, I have a colleague in my team uh, who's also from Sarawak, by the way, uh, and he's been working uh, there uh, uh, throughout his entire time in, uh, in Dell as of, this day, as of today. So to me, when you provide these options, right, it indicates just how much the company has their trust in their employees. Right? It sends a message that it doesn't matter how long I work where I work, or what I do in between, but what matters ultimately is that I, I'm able to get things done and deliver results, right? Like what Ben mentioned, deliver results to your customer, to your team, etc. Okay, like for example, Farah could be working in Starbucks and it's fine, right? <laughs> if that works best for her, that's fine. So we can be rest assured to do work at whichever setting or environment that we prefer and, and that comfortability, I believe, will reflect in the end product, right? Because to me, it's not just it's about getting things done. We want to get things done with the highest quality. And to get the extra edge, you have to make sure that your employees are comfortable. That, that is the key factor that I believe Dell nails really well. So, um, you know, workers can start and end their day as they choose. And as long as their work is complete and it can lead to strong outcomes. So this flexibility ultimately can lead us to achieve a work-life balance. And honestly, it's a win-win situation for both employees and, and the company. So, you know, more, more companies should do this, lah, right? So in terms of the working style, for me, I personally prefer to work from home and, uh, than the office, mostly because I do not own a car, at least not yet. So uh, if I work from home, then I can at least save on the 
uh, commute costs. Uh, but that said, right, I can understand the benefit of working hybrid or, or at the office because during the return to site, I, I remember the general manager of the Cyber Jaya site, uh, T.S. Kui, he mentioned about the importance of hallway chit-chat or office small talk for, or for interdepartmental communication. Because when you're working remotely, right, you tend to stick in your own team, <laughs> right? But when you're at the office, sometimes you stumble upon your colleagues from a different team because there is really big, right? There's just so many teams. Honestly, I can't even remember. Uh, so with that, that interdepartmental communication right, is really good. It's really, it's, it's important, right? To make sure that you feel like you're not, you're not, you don't feel like you're just closed off, lah, if that makes sense, right? So yeah, in summary, uh, when some companies began rolling back, uh, their work from home hybrid initiatives, if you saw the news, I'm glad that Dell maintains, decides to maintain this policy. And this is my last opportunity to speak, right? The best way I can put it this way, lah, for those fresh graduates who are still on the fence, if I ever decide to leave some Dell someday, right? Rest assured, I will not settle for anything less than the experience that I had with Dell, right? That just shows how high the bar has been set up by Dell as my first ever company, you know, how, how, much, how high of a standard that it has established for me, you know, for how good a working culture should be. So I can't imagine myself settling for anything less. I mean, like, why should I, right? So yeah, so I hope that kind of summarize, you know, not only how I feel about the working culture in there, but just my whole experience. So, so that's my take on the question. But Farah, maybe you'd like to chip in? Hey, hey, hey. I think Ray and Ben has been covered a lot much. And from my point of view, right, I'm, a, I'm an auntie who just got like nieces and nephew so working from home or hybrid really helps me i'm from kelantan so previously i studied at university uitm sarawak so i don't always get time to plan with my family so with my niece and they don't even remember my name you know when i started to work from home so they always come to me and i and you know like it's a blessing for me to just watch how they took their first step their first uh their first chit chat talk and Able to see their way uniforms to school is really amazing. It's really wholesome. I know it sounds like a mother kind of experience, but I really love kids, my niece and nephews especially. And another thing is that flexibility. This is flexibility working from home. You, you know, we can just wear pajamas when we do our work as long as our tasks being delivered. Like we can just get coffee and I can just send my niece to school, all those kind of things. Bonding between family is really good when you're working hybrid. I mean, I can always work from Kelantan and Sabujaya going back and forth. No, not, no, none of it costs me any problems. So, and then like, if you felt so pent up, right, you can just always welcome to my or welcome to the office. Especially my leaders, you always ask, Farah, do you, you want to go to office? Do you want to work in office or those kind of things? Uh, we, uh, validation team, sometimes we do always come to the office. We do have team members from India. They even came to Malaysia just to go, just to meet the team. That's a really wholesome memories for us. And then one thing, right? Like I said, we can work from everywhere. I'm actually like Starbucks, live from Starbucks. <laughs> Thanks to Dell headset that it cancel all the noise. But like I said, I am in, I can be in Kelantan doing my car license and it's a bit late, but uh, never too late to learn, okay? <laughs> and then I'm able to travel back and forth. And as my leader said, as long as you deliver your tasks, doing your tasks, I mean, like from nine to six, you work, but you can just continue at night. You know, all the Gen Z always works at night. <laughs> I do agree. I think they do work at night as well. <laughs> so I guess uh, that's all uh, an advantage of working hybrid for me. I can list out more, <laughs> but. <laughs> That's how I should stop myself. No worries, knew, this is lovely. I knew they'd have great stories, so thanks, Ash. No worries, thank you so much, Ben. And it's really nice to hear that you're a nie- uh, that you're uh, you're a nanti with with lovely nephews and nieces. If I'm not wrong, uh, but nonetheless, uh, I agree. I completely do agree, Ray and Farah, that we are an organization that's ultimately you know KPI and metrics driven, but we can still drive those metrics and KPI still in our pajamas, which is the best part. Nonetheless. Uh, thank you again for both of you. And uh, we've officially we almost reached the end of our discussion. But just before that, I'm opening this question to Elman um, as to what will be the best career advice for our uh, fresh graduates who joined us today. Uh, over to you, Elman. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Aspin. So um, before I come to the best advice, right, so I want to also address some of the uh, questions that the teams have, right? So there are some that's asked like, 
他们做 since Dell put up so much nice program to to the fresh graduate. What do we expect from the fresh graduate after the two years? Like what Dell wanted from the fresh graduate? Like is that a list of twenty different KPIs that I need to check the checkbox? Otherwise, I need to pay back or something else, and then nothing such, right? So Dell never thought about how we get things back from all of our Dell employee. I think the same to IT. Development program, finance development program, account development program, and the, basically the, all of the departments. What we really feel like is we want to create an environment and a platform for you to be your own self, for you to be the best version of yourself. And even if you participate in our hack to hire, there are some questions asking whether um, are we going to because we are offering them right away. Are we using a different glance to look at our Participant, like, are we expecting them to perform at their senior developer level before we offer them the job and so on and so forth? Actually, not, right? So we give you a problem statement. We let you know what's the problem, and you are the one who come up with the innovative solution. We do not even, you know, um, set any clause for you. Like, you have to use this language. You have to use this platform. You have to use that database. It's all up to you. You choose the best possible. Language that you can perform, you choose the best possible way that you can show your talent to us, and we want you to be your best version of yourself. And in the program itself, it's still the same. We want to help you find what you did best, and we want to help you find out what's the best version of yourself within those two years. And eventually, you can go on by yourself. Keep on learning and keep on growing within within the company and within your career path, right? And if you are really looking from a expectation perspective, like how it linked to the company from a company perspective, we do have a very nice uh, structure called OGSM. It's like a objective, goal, strategy, and measurement, all the way from Michael Dell and his elective. Uh, every single level, we have our objective and goal set. All of the department, all of each of the layer, all of the department head, all of the managers, we come up with the strategy and measurements that reflects how we helps the company achieve those goals and object objective. And you, as part of the fresh graduate, you are carry the same strategy measurement and achieving the same goal and objective like every. One else in the team. We do not have a different goal for a senior team member. We do not have a different goal for a super senior engineer. We have the very same goal for you and the rest of your teammates. And everyone at the end of the day will feel the same of achievement together. As and everyone will not lost, including you, including all of us, including all of us in the call. We all feel like we are contributing to the same goal towards our path, like through our strategy and measurement. This is how we link every one hundred fifty thousand people together within Dell. So that's pretty awesome. And my advice to all of you as a young fresh graduate is、uh, never stop learning. And if you put it, put your mind again, you no know, think back what you have learned back at your school, your university. Actually, the most important thing that your your lecturer and your school talk to you is how to learn, right? How do you continue to learn something new every semester? How you continue to learn something extra? How you continue to innovate? How do your lecturer try to torture you, give you a very high level questions and、uh, expecting a great solutions from you? You have to explore everything by yourself, right? You have to learn a new language by yourself. That's what you have to continue do. And you have to non-stop doing, even in the working environment. Even if you build your career, even if you try to build your own business later on, this is the same thing. Once you come to the working environment, come to the industry, come to any company, SME or MNC or Dell, you still do the same thing. You will find yourself continue learning non-stop, and because the, not only the technology change, but the whole industry is so wide, right? And Um, and the, the, no, not only the in industry is big and the technology is changing, but the most important thing is we want to make sure that everyone has an un unlimited opportunity to be creative and innovative. And you can create something from your own, right? So it can some create something that not known by anyone else in the company and still be successful. 
not only following everyone's steps, right? So be yourself is more important thing, right? So continue learning. That's my advice. Thanks, Ashwin. Back to you. Thank you. Thank you so much uh, for the advice, Alman. And I'm sure that our fresh graduates will keep it fondly in their minds and hearts. Uh, thank you again to our panelists for the amazing insights. And I believe now, ladies and gentlemen, we have officially reached the end of our discussion. And uh, we will be opening to Q&A, folks. Now, um, please do make sure that you have, you know, to, to type your questions in the chat box and we'll be sure to answer it. And we'll have one of our panelists to help you folks out with your queries. I believe that Elman has succinctly uh, answered a uh, few of the questions, I believe, out. But just before that, I'd like to make sure that the, the questions have been answered. Uh, Elman, uh, this, I believe, is an interesting question. Uh, would the coding challenge be intense and geared towards experienced programmers? I believe that the first question about how the programs, I believe you've You've succinctly answered it, but this one, I believe, uh, could you maybe perhaps, you know, flesh it out more from your end? Would that be, uh, would, would that be all right with you, Elman? Over to you. Yeah, sure. So, you know, uh, I guess the question is very much, uh, very respectfully to the hack to hire program, right? So, yes. and uh, it will not very precisely uh, create towards uh, try to find an uh, experienced programmer, like we want to fix you, try to use this uh, specific language, try to use this specific feature and try to use this specific skill set and so on and so forth. The most that we are looking from the competition is your thinking process. How do you come to the solution? And I can tell you that uh, even that's one of the team that's really come to the solution with Excel and that still managed to achieve the goals. And that's most, the most important thing is how do you work as a team? Because that's not something that you force to learn in your, in your university life, right? So that's the very first thing. What's your attitude, whether you do not give up, even if you face a very tough challenge, even if you face a very tough uh, uh, problem for you to solve. And, and also how is your innovative and creative mindset and how do you brainstorm it together with the team? Come towards a solution with whatsoever uh, uh, av uh, available skill set you have, right? So it doesn't matter whether you have the right skill set that very much needed in Dell. We always believe if you have the right attitude and you have the right confidence, you can learn from scratch. And we pride you the two years time to learn from scratch. And it doesn't matter, right? So you can join in a team which... Uh, like you can join the mind team, which requires Splunk and Dynatrace. And, and you know you have zero knowledge about Splunk and Dynatrace. But I know by this attitude, by you fitting into the Dell culture code and uh, be part of Dell team, you will be able to deliver if you're given enough time and you even uh, given enough support and flexibility to learn by yourself at your own speed, at your own pace, right? Um, no. I'll take another minute to explain it, uh, how you can look at it uh, from Dell perspective, right? For myself, for Ben and all of the leader in Dell, we are like the coach that helps to train all of their uh, sprint runner, right? So everyone run their sprint in a different pace, different speed, right? Everyone has their different uh, unique skill set and uh, different uh, capability to run. So doesn't matter if you manage to complete the sprint by 10 seconds, or by 15 seconds, we as a coach, we try to help you to run faster by your own pace, right? By your own attitude, like whether you want to train eight hours a day, 20 hours a day, we help you to identify what's the next path for you to become better. And we are not forcing you to become as good as Usain Board who run below 10 seconds, right? We want to make sure that you always at your best level and as your comfortable level. And again, that doesn't stop you to become better because for you that really want to run faster, put in a lot more effort, we just help you to become better constantly. And, uh, and that's the support that you can expect from us, right? So that's the real Dell culture that you will get to experience if you come and join us. Thank you. Thank you so much, Elman. Um, oh, uh, we have another question. I just scrolled down. <laughs> um, perhaps this is for Ben. And uh, the question is, how HR or talent acquisition work with business to grow young talent? Uh, over to you, Ben. Thanks, Ashwin. And thanks for the question. Um, and I think a lot of that question has been answered throughout this conversation, but I will just add a little bit 
uh, to it. Um, the the young talent that we bring in, there is a co ownership. The business, the young talent, HR as a function, we all get together and work together to make sure that there is that what I used a terminology earlier, a soft landing space, that transition between student to work. Um, I think we all come together and say, what's that soft landing space? What should it look like? Um, Elman's talked extensively about the ITDP program, and we've got uh, folks in the program sharing that experiences with you. So HR facilitates that, but it's actually owned by the business because they know what's the best skills and learnings that's needed. And it's in collaboration with the new people we hire. Does this work for them? So does this learning journey work for them? So I think HR facilitates it, but it's really led by the business and by the participants. Um, just to give you a, uh, that's just the entry point, right, into Dell. But how do you grow your talent further? One of the great things, so I'll just give you an example. HR does have policies and pro processes and policies and that help you grow. So at Dell, if you are someone who's joined Dell, done 12 months in a role, you can actually go look out for another role at Dell, that new neighborhood that Ray mentioned, or the new city. Um, you can actually apply for a job. You don't need a hiring man your direct manager's approval. That's the kind of HR facilitation that we do. You just notify your manager and say, hey, I've done 12 months. I'm interested in learning a different skill. I'm interested in going to a different department and I'm going to apply. You don't need any approvals. You've done your time, 12 months, apply, go for the interview process. And if it matches, that's the, your new career journey at Dell. So I think these are some of the policies that HR builds together with the business to kind of make sure that the young talents continue to grow and thrive at Dell. That's just a quick example, Ashwin. I hope it uh, helps. Yes, I see. Thank you so much, uh, Ben. And um, please do, uh, please do, you know, rein in all the questions that you have. Uh, so far, these are the questions, and thank you so much, Ben and Elman, to answer, to have answered all the questions. Um, to all the folks, to all the new hires, out, I mean, to all the young talents, my bad, to all the, because I'm uh, keeping my hopes high that you guys are all new hires already, my bad. But um, to all the young talents, young graduates, new graduates, and whatnot, please do, uh, you know, please do throw in all your questions. Put all your questions in the chat box, and uh, we'll make sure that all our SMEs or subject matter experts uh, uh, will be able to answer you. And also, if you have questions to, for Ray and Farah, please do. Farah is apparently working in Starbucks, uh, wink, wink. <laughs> so you can have questions for her as well. She's very flexible on that as well. Seems that there are not many. Well, I believe we're just waiting uh, if we, there aren't any questions. Yes, yeah. if there aren't any questions, then uh, I believe that we can actually go ahead and, uh, you know, we can close in this Q&A. And I believe that you can still reach out to the specific panelists if you'd like to ask, you know, answer or like to ask common questions. Anyhow, as I promised at the very beginning of our session, there's going to be some great contests and great games and exciting prizes. As you can see the screen right here, uh, first and foremost, we have a short video contest. Now, how do you win? Well, scan the QR code right there and you'd see a Google form. Now you can see a link in the Google form to vote for Dell Technologies at graduan.com. Once you've done that, submit the screenshot of your vote, then you can record and submit a short video of yourself telling us why Dell Technologies is, mo is Malaysia's most preferred employer. Well, you can stand to win, ladies and gentlemen, an Alienware mouse, a Dell laptop, or even an Alienware headphones and whatnot, all these accessories from Alienware. Uh, and that was the contest, of course. The next one uh, would be a game tournament called Adorn Your Life with Games. Uh, with the first game being Mobile Legends and the second one Tetris Battle, it took me days to get the name right. <laughs> um, scan, the, scan the code right there. You can see a code right there. And your, uh, for your team leader to register another four members into your team, making it a team of five. 
So there's going there are going to be uh, eight teams on a first come first basis, of course, and you'd have to download Mobile Legends with the access of your smart or uh, smartphone or PC, laptop, and whatnot. So turn your webcam on and emerge as a victor to proceed to the next game, Tetris Battle, with one team as the winner. You can win prizes up to uh, 1,500 ringgit Malaysia, and I can't tell you what the prizes are because my lips shall remain zipped, and so you'd have to find out yourself by joining us on the 31st of July. So uh, that is all, folks. Please be sure to scan the QR codes, and uh, you can uh, you can be you'll be directed to the short video contest, the game tournament, and whatnot. Thank you so much, folks. If uh, there aren't many questions, if you have scanned the barcode, I'll uh, I'll flip the uh, flip my position over to our graduate folks out there. Thank you so much. Wow, that was such an insightful session and such a fruitful session from Dell. And the contest, you guys have to join because the prizes are top notch. <laughs> All right, so um, thank you so much to the speakers from Dell for your time explaining, sharing your experiences, and also answering the questions from the audience. And also thank you to Ashwin for being such a great moderator. All right, so to everyone else, stay tuned for our next session which will be featuring Citibank at 1.30 p.m. And they'll be sharing um, lessons at work I wish school taught me. So go have your lunch first and come back for the session later, okay? All right, we'll see you soon. Take care and have a good Saturday, everyone. One, one.